I'm here with Kathleen Smith, and you are the archivist of the GAR Civil War Museum. Yes, the Gray Normandy Public Civil War Museum and Library. Yes. Okay, and we're just going to kind of do a walk through here, so maybe you could tell me about some of the okay. pieces that you have in here. Okay, all right. All right. This is our Lincoln room. This room is dedicated to President Lincoln, and we have here some artifacts from his days. There's the cuffs that... Uh, that uh, uh, Booth was going to use to cuff Lincoln. He was going to try and take him prisoner, but uh, instead he ended up murdering him. Um, we have a, a very uh, important sketch here from a man by the name of Faber. Faber was the artist, military artist, who was in the room sketching when Lincoln was dying. This is one of our most uh, valued artifacts. This is old Baldy. Old Bordy was General Meade's war horse. General Meade is best known as the commander of the Battle of Gettysburg. But Old Baldy and he went through the whole war together. Um, Old Baldy was wounded, what, six times on the battlefield? And each time he was left for dead and, he, and they would find him up grazing in the grass the next morning. And they would treat his wounds and he'd have a period of rest and then he'd go back into battle with the general. He outlived the general by 10 years and when he died he was buried not far from Philadelphia, just outside Philadelphia in Montgomery County in a private this building. building. <clears throat> was built in 1796 by Dr. John Ruan. Dr. Ruan was born in the uh, Virgin Islands and he came here to study medicine and he opened up a practice here and he built the house next door to, that's attached to this, the little house first. That was built in 1794 and this house was in 1796 and we are pretty sure that he probably used it for his practice, his surgery and everything else and his mm -hmm. family probably lived here. And we too. are the only uh, Civil War Museum in Philadelphia. And Philadelphia was a very important area during the uh, Civil War. Uh, men were recruited here, they signed up here, they were trained here, there were training camps all over Philadelphia. And also, it's from here that they were put on trains and went south to the battlefields. And it's also here where they came back from the battlefields for treatment of their wounds. Uh, Philadelphia was very big, uh, a lot of churches and everything opened their doors to them, fed them you know, gave them medical care mm -hmm. and spiritual care, and they came back for rest and relaxation. So Philadelphia was a very important area, mm -hmm. and uh, we're, the, we're the only museum uh, dedicated to the Civil War. And uh, Well, thank you so much for walking through with us okay. and telling us about it. Thanks for having us. All right. Be an exciting thank night. you very much. Thanks. Thank you. We're at the Grand Army of the Republic Civil War Museum and Library in the city of Philadelphia. And we are about to go down into the creepiest basement that you could ever believe to be in. And I can vouch for that. Dave, why don't you tell us who you believe is down here? No, there's a guy down there that I know he doesn't, he doesn't like me. He he's, doesn't like me. He's called a lot of people some very colorful names before. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think anyone's had a positive experience with him. We used to send some of our new people down there just to see how they react and they'd all, all wind up huddled up in a corner kind of like cowering from them. You can just feel the energy coming off of them. Uh, there's been rumors about the Underground Railroad there's connection? Been, yes, there's been rumors about a possible connection with the Underground Railroad, which is very possible because the uh, Frankfurt Historic Society and the Quaker, uh, Philadelphia Quaker Church is about three blocks from here. And we know that the Quaker Church was definitely a stop on the Underground Railroad. So it's very possible that this was one of the places where they hid people. Well, I know that one spot that we found down there looks like the brick, the mortar is really loose. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you can move the bricks out. Mm -hmm. And when you're on the other side, the other basement on the other building, you can, and you shine your light through, you can see through. Mm -hmm. And nice pattern enough that would have made a nice hole mm -hmm. that you right. could have easily filled mm -hmm. back up again. Mm -hmm. So right. that kind of fits the whole story too. And we also in the basement have a spirit cat, a black cat. It's been seen numerous times and I saw it myself uh, twice down there. And uh, it just comes in the back door, comes in that door down there, and then it disappears. Cool. Well, we'll uh, we just walked from one side of the back of this basement to the other. If you'd like to let us know you're here, and you can walk back again, 
we have a device in the floor that would light up the different colors, and we know that you're at least here, and maybe w that would give us an, an idea of where to stay out of your personal space at least. Where at? Yeah, it's, I think he's actually behind the stuff over here. He usually goes to this corner over here. But he's like really tucked back in over here. Which is, that's usually what he does when I come down. That's why they always ask me to leave when I, <laughs> I come in because he doesn't like to interact with me at all. That was probably him when that first went off and we put it down. Mm -hmm. That was probably him moving back to the back corner there. Bob, you real time on? What's that? Do real time on? Yeah. Did you pick up anything? No. So we've gotten some good EVPs. So you're, you're someone unfamiliar to him, so he might actually. I can hear him? Yeah. Can you come and talk to us tonight? This is the second time I'm here. My name is Bob, if you don't remember me. Can you tell me your name? It's a cold breeze right now, let me see. Millimeter temperature just flatlined. Went up to 117 degrees and then flatlined. Yeah, it's kind of warm down here. No, but it's 117. Uh, but that it went to 117 and it blinked off. Now it's not picking up anything. Do you mind that we're down here? All we want to do is talk to you. Maybe you have a message you'd like us to deliver to somebody? We know you have a story to tell. You know, we could, we're able to tell that story for you. So if you have a message or something you want to say, we can get that message out for you. Thirty-six forty-eight, sixteen seven ninety-four, eleven thirty-five, twenty. These are crazy. Temp right now it says. 13, 67, 17,000, 5,024 degrees, and then flat line. Is this where you said the Underground Railroad was, right in here? Well, in the back room. Oh, it was back there? Yeah. I'm not here to harm you or disrespect you in any way. If you're hiding somebody down here, we're not here to take them away from you or anything. We just want to communicate. That was me. Ah, okay, yes. They're on the wall. That's just creepy. That's I think that's what creeps me out the most. What, the chairs hanging on the, the chairs wall? Hanging, I don't know. It's, this room just gets really... Well, never this, really is, this is the room what? back here. This is where I felt they were hiding under here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it almost seems like the, the whole niche over here was built up. Yeah. To be a little hiding spot. You put like a little wall here, a false wall, even a curtain. You could easily hide right under those steps right there. It's just real strong feeling in here. Never really cared for this spot. Mm -hmm. Is that a statue on the table? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's bust. We got a lot of stuff in this museum. I think, you know what? It, it, if it's fear, that probably would be the thing I would 
maybe I'm picking up on that. Because if the other people have seen, you know, like people that may have been with the Underground Railroad and stuff, that maybe that's why I feel so uncomfortable in here all the time. Maybe it's, I'm picking up on the. You know, some places you go and it's one time, it's one way, the next time you feel okay. This has been consistent every time I come here. Is there anybody hiding down here tonight? Sixty six point six degrees <laughs> down here. Well, now you have a reason to be uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Your video Ir Ir irony has a way of <laughs> and now it's 66.2 going up to 66.3 66.5 uh, drop down and coming up thank you we really appreciate it and you don't have to be afraid of me all these funny noises coming out of my headphones here <laughs> I don't know what it is doing what was that? What was that? Is there anybody hiding down here tonight? You can come out. We're here to take you away. Give you a safe passage. So, something's going on now. there was a safe word or a password possible when there have to be a, how would you know if you were here and how would you know the person coming for you wasn't someone like a, right. a hunter trying to track down the runaway slaves right. they had to have some sort of sa safe word or password to know that it was a person they were really looking for right you trying to turn on the water here See that. I have a piece of equipment up here. If you come around it, it'll make noises, light up some lights. It'll let me know that you're here. Think you can do that for me? I was just thinking, the reason I was asking if that's a new version of the Vita, because yeah, it, it has the music on it. I was just thinking about, it. I suppose it's a kid. Too high. Right, but the music and the lights might attract them to want to touch it. Because the other sound might scare them with that. Let's put it. Can you try to touch that? That device there that's making. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can you do that again for us? That's awesome. Thank Good you. Job. I thought you'd like the colored lights and the sound a little better. Can you see if you can make a different color light come on? Or more than one light? Almost. That was very good, though. We appreciate that. Thank you very much for doing that. I guess I had it too high for you. Before.
And if you get a little bit closer to it, the other colored lights will go off. Okay. A little bit closer. And different colors will go off and it'll make some music. Come on, try really hard. You can do it. I know you can do it. A little closer. You're doing a great job of trying, though. That's really great. Thank you very much. Now, we also have something here that might be able to hear you. So if you want to tell us what your name is, we might be able to hear that. You can talk right here into this little red light. So what if the kid was only this tall and it's stretching? Reaching up, yeah. Okay. Well, honestly, right where you put that is like right in between me and Dave. And that's like right where I saw the shadow. And you said it was like shoulder height, and my shoulder went, right. It went from you to the wall. Okay, so that's that would still be within right. reach, but right. if that was the top of the head going across. But it almost makes sense because he put that there and started going out. Right in the spot where you saw that. Yeah. Was that you that walked between Dave and Andrew? By the way, this is Dave and that's Andrew. Was that you? If that was you, light one of those lights up. All right, you obviously don't like me. Was, did you just walk between us before we put this down for you to play with? Did you walk right by me? Now, like I said, we have something here that might be able to hear you. So if you want to tell us your name or tell us anything at all, we'll, we might be able to hear you. But you're doing a really great job with touching that and lighting that up so we know that you're here. You want Dave to hold this? Maybe you don't feel comfortable with me. Here, Dave. <laughs> Okay, this isn't going to hurt you. The red light, it's not hot. See, I'm touching it. So if you say anything at all, there's a good chance that we might be able to hear you. So if you tell us your name or your age, anything at all, just try to say it really loud. Are you telling me you are trying? Okay. We know it takes a lot of energy for you to do this. So they might be only be able to choose between one or the other because the energy they're going to expend doing it. Breaking the magnetic field on that is going to be a lot simpler than right. trying to record. I guess they're agreeing <laughs> with me. So we might not be able to get any audio, but we're definitely getting some interaction here. Well, when I was asking the questions, it wasn't going off. But right. as soon as you started asking the questions again, it started going off again, like it is now. There's nothing going on. Can you tell me your name? Can you light that up for me? One time. Obviously, it doesn't feel comfortable with me. It's okay. You can light it up again. These are all my friends here, too. Wow. I'm impressed. And keep trying to talk so we, maybe we can find out your name. You know our names. I'd love to be able to say your name when I'm asking you questions. I know it may be hard. That's okay if you can't. You definitely let us know that you're here. And that's great.
Are you alone down here? Are there two of you down here? Are there three of you down here? Are there more than four? Are you afraid to tell me how many people are down here? What we were noticing when we were doing the different sessions with the pods, we were getting about maybe 10 to 15 minutes of interaction, and then it would drop off for about 10, 15 minutes. Really? And then it would pick back up again. It's almost like it takes so much energy to even just manipulate right. the magnetic field. They need time to recharge themselves. Recharge themselves, yeah. That, that was a pretty good interaction. Yeah, it was. On there, so. It was. And they want to ask them if they're, if they're a child. <laughs> I think they just answered, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> if you want us to leave, why don't you light up that piece of equipment? If you light up that piece of equipment, let us know that you want us to leave, then we will, we will leave you alone. So if you want us to leave, light up that piece of equipment for us. Yeah. Do you hear a dog bark? Yeah, it sounded like a zipper. <laughs> 